Hello, welcome to Traveling Hi. Young. Today, we're gonna go downtown, walk around outside, and maybe even have some pastries. <gasps> We're the Youngs. We spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hey, all right. Hi. Thanks for joining us today here at Traveling Young. Here's the deal. We're trying to see if we can do a couple things outside because yes. we've been cooped up inside yep. so much. And we're doing it safely. We have our masks. Yes. So we've got to begin though with coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here in uh, downtown Lumbu. We're going to walk around the corner in a minute and go to the Lakuhusit. And I'm going to get some coffee. We're going to see if we can score some kind of pastry, maybe yeah. Napoleon cake, like maybe. everybody says is possible. I don't know. No. Nope. And then, yeah, we'll check things out downtown. So join us and see what unfolds through this less than exciting day of being <laughs> <laughs> outside in Denmark, but trying to see a little bit of nature. Get, a fresh, let's get some fresh air. We'll do what we can. Yeah. All right, well, let's go and get some coffee. Woohoo! Da, da, da. We have more fasolam and bolo, which I promise we will eat with our hands, but we're not going to eat them right now. First, we're going to go see a few sites around Copenhagen. So here we are at Den Lille Havfru in Copenhagen in the beautiful harbor. It's sitting here behind me. It's quite a bit smaller than I think people expect when they come and see it. Um, and also, if you don't know, the actual original story that Hans Christian Andersen wrote is quite a bit darker than the Disney version. In the real version, she actually does sell her voice, but uh, the sea witch actually says that for the rest of her time on Earth, she'll be walking on, it'll feel like she's walking on swords and she'll be bleeding the whole time and then she doesn't even end up with the prince, so it's a bit of a darker story. Um, but it's a neat statue. It was actually, uh, commissioned by Carl Jakobsen, who is the son of the founder of Carlsberg Beer, so that's pretty cool. And I think she's uh, she's been here since 1909, had her head taken off a few times, so she's been replaced. Um, but it's just a beautiful place to come down and see and, and take a look at one of the most famous stories that came out of uh, Denmark. We've walked a little bit south from the Little Mermaid, kind of back towards the Newhound area. You can see over my shoulder the Royal Opera House across the harbor. And we wanted to stop here because these, there's these two neat little buildings. One has the crown on top of it and one just kind of has a gold ball. And these are two little porticos that they put in place for when the queen takes her barge trip in this, usually in the summer. Uh, the queen and the royal family actually wait in the uh, portico with the, the crown on top and then guests of the royal family can wait in the one with the little gold ball and uh, it's just kind of a neat little fact here in the harbor and in front of me uh, we're up a little bit but in front of me is a nice statue of Frederick the Ninth who was Queen Margaret's father uh, he is out looking over the harbor which is great for him because he was actually a sailor uh, and spent much of his life on the water so it's a perfect place for him to be kind of keeping watch on all of the harbor Right, so right now we are on top of the Castellet, which is a really neat area, especially right now since there aren't very many things you can do in Copenhagen. You can't go inside anywhere, but this is a really pretty area to walk around outside. And we're walking around the perimeter of the top and looking down, you can see these moats because this is a star-shaped fortress right next to 
the Little Mermaid. So when you're visiting the Little Mermaid, you definitely got to come up here, especially on a day like today when we're all just desperate to get outside and walk around and be away from the home. There's a lot of people well spaced, but a lot of people just taking advantage of the outside today since it's not raining. So we're glad we came up here and uh, let's walk around a little bit more and see what we'll find next. We need to interrupt for a minute because we have a winner. Yes. From last week, we asked you guys to help us pick a place to go when COVID's gone and we can travel again. And that has happened. So one of the things I did is I bought a map of Denmark. And on this map is the place that we're going to go to. But just so you know, I'm going to take this map and I'm going to hang it on the wall and I'm going to place all the places that people suggested we go to make sure we go to all of them. I've also got a Google map I set up already that already has them all placed and I'm going to put it in the link in the description so you can see all the suggestions that people have made. We read them all, but yep. the winner of where we will go when we can travel again is Moon! Moon! Bam! And there's so much around here to go see. We're very excited. We will get to all the places on the list, well. but we're going to start in Moon when time permits. So yeah. thank you so much for helping us, giving tons of feedback and ideas and, and thing, just like a lot of suggestions, which are super helpful. As you can see, it filled up a map. And this, you will see at some point on my wall with a bunch of little stickers on it of all the places that we need to go. We're ready to go. All right, let's get back to the mermaids. Right, so we're now at our last stop on our little walking tour around the North Harbor of Copenhagen. And where we end up is right here at the genetically modified Little Mermaid. The interesting sister of the other mermaid that we saw earlier. I don't know exactly when it was put here, but I don't think it's been very long. This is a pretty newly developed area of Norham. And right behind me and behind that actually are where the ferries leave to go to Norway. So this is where we're going to end our little walk in Copenhagen, but stay with us because we're going to go home right now and eat the pastries that we bought earlier today. Okay, we are back home. We are. After a busy day, I have to say that's sure. the most that I've walked. I looked and it was 4.7 miles. Yeah, and that's a lot of kilometers. It's yeah. probably seven. <laughs> ish and uh my legs hurt because yeah, i haven't walked that much I, in a very long time i came home and took a long nap i kind of fell asleep for a few moments with yeah. brisket who was also very tired because his little legs <laughs> also little walked the whole time but it was great but one of the things we did this morning as you saw is we've got some fast more again. again this time with no knife and fork so the reason why we're doing this is because a lot of people commented on the last video. By the way, thanks for all the comments. Yeah. Yes, always. And, uh, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, but what they commented is that we shouldn't eat it with a knife and fork. We should eat it with our hands. <laughs> yeah, just eat it with Since your hands. Since we were on video, we thought we wouldn't do that <clears throat> the first time. But you know what? Why not? So we bought more. <laughs> we'll and this I... time, we're just going to conclude today's video with us yes. eating this. Eating with our hands yes. and once again thanking you guys for subscribing and for watching i mean we really appreciate it yeah we do and like we have been looking at the the growth and stuff and the subscribers and it's just crazy town like we can't believe it so yeah. thank you so much for all your support and telling us yeah. all the things we need to do and try and and our gift to you is watching us yes. eat these <laughs> With our hands. How can you awkwardly eat these? I don't know. No, no, no I'm not. Do. I don't care. I'm just gonna do it, and I don't I care like how awkward it looks. I'm just gonna do. Off. I don't care. Mm. And I have the beard, so it's oh, this is like oh, um, caramel. Like, like, it's super good. Yeah, coffee. Uh, uh, <laughs> this isn't messy at all. Great idea, nope. guys. <laughs> keep going. Come on. Yeah, keep going. I'm, um, 